Hi, this is Dan again from Clean Guru, and today I wanted to talk about the topic, why and how before speed and power. What in the world does that have to do with? Well, actually, I put it together because of something I like to do as a hob, as a as a workout. I like to work out at a local gym here in town, and there's a boxing program. We we really work mostly on the heavy bag, so it's a heavy bag workout, and it's a heck of a workout. But what I've noticed, and I think a lot of other people have noticed too. A lot of people come and go. They start out with the best of intentions, but we lose a lot of people. And the reason why is I think they, they get the speed and the power thing ahead of the why and the how thing. Meaning that if you remembered why you're going into this program, let's say you want to uh, improve your health, you want to stay healthy, feel better, lose weight, get stronger, whatever the reasons are, when the why is important and you keep it in your mind, that helps. Same thing with how. The, the actual execution of what you do when you're learning to, to box is important. But instead, what is so very natural to do, especially when you're younger, of course my kids make fun of me all the time, I sound really old when I say this, but you know, the hallmark of youth sometimes, sometimes, is, is enthusiasm. Whereas the hallmark, hopefully, of getting a little older is some wisdom in, in terms of perspective. Well, a lot of times, and by the way, it doesn't have to be just a younger person, sometimes people focus on the speed and the power, and they go at it like crazy, for a day or two and then we lose them, right? The, the thing is that you have a better chance of lasting and getting long and really powerful, you'll get actually faster and power, more powerful if you slow down and remember and keep in mind the reason why you're doing it and the execution of how you're doing it. I'll give you a quick example, two quick things. One in training, if you remember why you're doing training, then it won't matter because it, how long it takes to get the whole program in place. If you believe it's important for the cleaning of your building, the development of your people, then the whole time it takes to put the training program in place will be worth it because you remembered why and how, and then eventually you'll get faster at doing it. Same thing, I'll give you an example, Tony and I and our company. As I recall, we tried to put in place a particular supervisory program. We wanted to make sure that we double check certain things that were important in a building. So we arranged to have the area supervisors call the main supervisor in our office every night, and they went back over the important things one more time. It took a long time to get that in place, but after a while we got faster. We tried to remember the important reasons why we were doing it and how we were doing it, and then eventually we got more efficient. It's just a perspective to keep in mind. Hope that helps. I hope it helps your cleaning company. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.